everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Rambling Through Everyday Life with Fran and Angela. My name is Fran. I'm one of the co-hosts for this podcast. Did you guys listen to last week's episode with Angela Cottrell? Mm, I bet you did. And did you also know that these uh, uh, podcast episodes that we do via Zoom, we put those on our YouTube. Did you know that we have a YouTube? We'll put all that in the show notes. Um, that's a little bizarre. But sometimes, you know, not not the episodes are bizarre. Posting on YouTube is bizarre. But sometimes if you're like me, you want to watch something instead of listen. And so we're trying to provide you both, especially when we're recording um, a Zoom because the person is out of town. So anyway, there's your fun fact for the day. Okay, this week is all over the place, which is what we're really good at. We're just going to be here, there, and everywhere. Of course, we talk about the serious and the not so serious because that's what we do. Sit back, enjoy the show, and as always, thank you for listening. We love you guys so much. Have a great day. Greetings, everybody. Hello. How are you? Oh, happy day. Angela Snyder, good to see you again. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. We had a pretty snow. We did. We prayed for that, remember? We did. We mentioned it in the last podcast with Angela Cottrell that there was a um, mention, a the weatherman predicted snow, and by golly, we got it. We got it. I mm-hmm. tell you what, that's God's way of saying, y'all rest. I know it. I'm You're s- grounded. Yeah, you're grounded. Everybody <laughs> sit down, eat, watch TV, sleep, all the things. Well, speaking of eat, there's two things that my family has excelled at in the <laughs> snow and, and in the Christmas break, and we might need an intervention. Um, I go from not cooking at all to cooking excessively. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have made so much cornbread mm-hmm. that I need to buy stock in cornmeal. Where did that come from? Why the cornbread? Well, you know, we just like it. Carl and I both have fond memories of our grandmothers mm-hmm. making cornbread. I love cornbread. And, and it just goes with, you know, we made beef stew. It mm-hmm. needed cornbread. Mm-hmm. We made black eyed peas. We mm-hmm. needed cornbread. It's so much better than a roll. It's so much better. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just a Southern thing. Yeah. And, and it's almost, you know, I'm an achiever in the most neurotic of ways. So it's, you know, when you pull it out of the oven and you flip it onto mm-hmm. the plate, right. is it going to slide mm-hmm. and be perfectly crispy mm-hmm. and golden brown? Or is it going to fail? and get stuck and make you feel like you're a big right. fat loser. Right. So, and it's all crumbly and, yeah, you know. So nothing makes me happy dance and be proud of myself more <laughs> more than a perfect cornbread. <laughs> and I need to do all these happy dances to burn off all these extra calories. Oh, listen. But I asked you a question, and I'm kind of curious about the listeners too, and I still don't even know how to do this correctly. But we have made so many soups, stews, Every single thing I make seems to call for this one ingredient. And for some reason, this word, I cannot pronounce it or I don't know that I can. And it also just makes me laugh. And it's kind of silly. So I'm curious. I'm curious to see what you think and what our listeners think Mm -hmm. about this word. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? (laughs) All right, Fran, say this word. Okay. (laughs) I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to focus and concentrate. Mm Mm-hmm. The word that we are talking about that is causing so much (laughs) laughter and frustration is the word (laughs) Worcestershire. (laughs) Worcestershire? Worcestershire? I've I've heard Worcestershire. (laughs) Worcestershire? Worcestershire. 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 I don't know why this one word is so funny. Whoever created it on God's green earth, did they sit there and think, this is a great name? Because everybody's going to be able to pronounce it and love it. (laughs) It sounds like it's from England. Worcestershire. Is that a country? A city? A town? I don't know. (laughs) We don't know how to say it or where it originated, but we welcome your feedback. Yeah. Oh, listeners, tell us how to say... How do you say that Worcestershire. dang word? Worcestershire. Worsh. It's the worsh. It's that part of it. <laughs> Don't go to the grocery and get lost and try to ask somebody where to find it because yeah. I can't even get it out of my mouth. Yeah. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. But it makes me giggle and it seems to make an appearance in most of the recipes these days. Well, we so love it go. and thank God for it. But dang alive, <laughs> cannot I, pronounce it for nothing. For nothing, y'all. For nothing. 
I, I tell you what else we're doing a lot of. I hate puzzles. We established that oh, during the pandemic. Angela, they're the worst. The first quarantine in March of 2020, oh I said, if I ever see another puzzle, it's going straight in the trash. I don't have the patience for a puzzle. I look at anything. I mean, it could be a 50-piece puzzle. It could be a child's puzzle. And I'm like, no, not interested. Well, let me tell you what we've discovered in the Snyder household. That's not a puzzle. Okay. Cole is very in- into the Simpsons, and he got Simpsons Monopoly for Christmas. Oh, wow. Well, I secretly both wanted him to have it and also wanted to hide it because I don't have good memories of Monopoly. Yeah. I remember it being like a 32-hour game well, exactly. that was just not any fun. Right. Well, I don't know if it's because of the Simpsons. I don't know if it's because of family time. I'm trying to get off my phone. You know, my word for this year is awake. I'm trying to be <laughs> intentional. I love... Simpsons Monopoly. What's, what's different about it? The characters are different. The little people that you move around yeah. the board, your little uh-huh. whatever it's called. Uh-huh. They're just fun and funny. They make me laugh. The properties are based on the Simpsons oh, show. That's cute. Which I've never really watched, but yeah. Cole has fun explaining mm-hmm. to me mm-hmm. what all these things are. So that's making my 13-year-old boy <laughs> that's right. have a conversation. That's right. Like we've talked about. Be engaged. Mm-hmm. Be engaged. And the money has the scent. Like Maggie is on the dollar bills and it, it's just cute, and it's fun, and it's funny, but we're also very competitive oh, in yeah. my family. Yeah. Oh, and also there's monorail stops instead of the train station. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. So it's monorail, and you know, that just makes me think about Disney, even though Simpsons is universal, but whatever. So I, I saw this meme the other day that I thought was so funny. It was a Google search, how to secretly cheat at Monopoly. <laughs> Gosh. And then that was at 8.32 p.m., and then at 8.43 p.m., it says... How to put a family back together. Oh, that's so great. (laughs) And I thought, if that's not the truth. Yeah. Board games. Love them or leave them because they're going to kill your family. Yeah. So, you know, if you're We don't do board games either. Do you not? No. I just... Cards? Do y'all do cards? No. I'm not a game... I'm not a game person. See, Cole and I are a lot alike in that way. We love to just be silly and play games. So I'm learning, you know, like you've been giving us this advice on boys. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to notice that he enjoys that that's right well and there yeah at mine we, mine i guess we were doing other things i don't remember but y'all did a lot of sports yeah we did but yeah i don't know i didn't grow up doing games i don't know i it's can okay. remember my dad being the biggest competitor at yahtzee and backgammon yeah. and no yeah. mercy you know there's no let yeah. the kid go easy on the kid let the kid win yeah. that ain't happening in like, our i don't want to go bowling yeah i don't want to do anything like that well, that's okay. It is okay. I'm fine with it. It's fine. But, you know, <laughs> bah, it's, it's, it's been a fun way to pass the time. And you know what else I've rediscovered that I had put down for a long time is reading books for fun. Yeah. Well, yes, because you love to order books that are going to teach you something, which I'm not saying that's not fun. But in my mind, I separate the two. Mm-hmm. Like just, you know, reading a Something that's fiction, you know, yep. that's just reading for the sake of reading the story and what happens. And I get wrapped up in, I want to read something to better myself. Mm-hmm. It's easy to do. Yeah. And then to feel like you're not making good use of your time. Right. But at the same time, I'll sit on the couch and scroll through <laughs> my phone. Real, yeah, that's a real what? good use of our time. <laughs> but I found, and, and actually found it, I think probably on a Facebook ad, but Guidepost. Do you remember Guidepost magazine? <laughs> <laughs> from a hundred years ago yeah <laughs> poor friend that's I'm killing still... <laughs> her slowly over here <coughs> well and i was getting choked too that's a thing still uh, it is it is guidepost is still around and they have these books that i've discovered it's a whole series a little magazine yeah. type thing yeah L- like reader's digest yes reader's digest yeah it's still is around. that still a thing I don't know. I'm going to Google that. We while don't you're read talking. enough, friend. Keep Look talking. I'm going to Google Reader's Digest. But Guidepost has this series of books that I have just really enjoyed, and they they are Christian fiction. So they're based on like the one I'm reading right now is um, Joanna from the New Testament, and it, it's taken things from Scripture, but the author just tells a beautiful story about the people and their interaction and their relationships and. There's one about Noah's wife and and just different characters in the Bible. And, you know, you've got to take it for what it is. It's the author's creative interpretation of what it might have been like. But I love just following the story of what the time was like and the setting. It's kind of like watching The Chosen where it's just filling in. It it helps when I do read my Bible. It makes it come more alive because it's 
it just makes more sense. So, well, here's your fun fact for the day. Apparently, Reader's Digest does still exist, and they have a website, rd.com. So, there you go. Oh. Who knew? Okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, there you, you go, know, people. You, you never know what we're going to accidentally <laughs> <laughs> land on. Everything from the sauce we can't pronounce to is are, are these places. We're still showing around. our age a little bit too. We, so we kind of are. Yeah, we kind of are. Yeah. Um, anything else going on before we we shift a little bit? I want to talk about our Bible reading plan. Yeah. I yes, I've got some comments about the Bible reading plan. Um. Well, no, we had the snow. Thankful for that. Um, January to me is the longest month mm-hmm. in the entire ever living world. Excuse me while I cough. Angela, keep talking. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to say this. Um, <clears throat> or I'm not. That was right terrible. Ahead. Okay. Resume, Fran. Resume. I just think January is so long. Like, you love it, love it, love it. You're so hopeful. You know, you just get your mind goes through these shifts, and you start thinking about things, and then all of a sudden you're like, it's still January. We're still here. It's the longest month ever. Yeah. And yeah. I'm not a winter gal, so I'm like, uh, where's spring? Up. Where's April? Well, February short. Mm-hmm. March is daylight savings time. Yeah, right. We're going to make it. Yeah. We're going to make it. Okay. Okay, so I want to talk about Bible recap. Yeah. Um, and I mentioned... TBR. TBR. I think two episodes I, ago. Can I say something? Please do. TBR. Isn't there some bull riding thing? Yes. Okay. I think about, after watching Yellowstone, I think about the bull riders. It's something, whatever. something, there's something similar to TBR. I just think about a big belt buckle and a cowboy. And I do. I struggle in my mind. I in, When I say TBR, I envision some kind of bull riding competition. Well, it kind of feels that way sometimes. Sometimes it does feel like I'm <laughs> trying to barrel my way through. Yeah. Well, okay. Anyway, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I heard this interview. I can't remember who interviewed Tara Lee Cobble. And she's the, the she's, developer creator of yes, TBR. TBR, which is a reading plan through the Bible. We're reading chronologically. And then she does a six to eight minute podcast recap after you read your Bible chapters for each day. But she said something that really stood out to me because a few episodes ago when you and I talked about it on the podcast, I mentioned how when I was at my lowest point, I just let scripture read to me Uh rather than holding my Bible in my hand and reading. And I think I had a little bit of almost like guilt or is this okay or am I doing enough if I just let it read to me? Mm -hmm. And Tara Lee Cobble said something that might help somebody else listening if you share that same feeling. She said there is absolutely no shame in listening to the Bible Mm -hmm. because for generations, that's just what they did. It was read to them at festivals or recited by Levites. That's right. Whatever Mm -mm. works for you, like that, we've got to be careful. And and I'm talking to myself, like we, if, if we ever try to create this perfect way to go through this plan and find all these ways to, to fail at it, it's hard enough without making it harder. Because let's just refresh everybody's memory. This TBR Bible recap reading plan is 365 days long. So you better believe you're going to hit some bumps, many bumps in the road where you're not blowing and going like you were the first few days, first few weeks of January. And if you need that app to read to you, well, by golly, let it. Or if I call Angela and say, would you read to me? (laughs) (laughs) Or tell me what I just read today. Or, 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 or. I was known to do this last year because, you know, life life will start to happen and the content is a lot. Typically, it's, Mm -hmm. it's several chapters or several, you know, chunks to read at a time sometimes I'm like I don't have the time to do that so I'll just go straight to the podcast yeah that's okay too that's right yeah or I'll read it in the morning and then two hours later Mm -hmm. I realize I don't even I couldn't even tell you what I read so then I try at lunch if I'm in the car to listen to it and let it read to me build it into the pockets of your day right and that's to me where the advantage and I love my airpods (laughs) You know, if I'm mm-hmm. in the grocery store mm-hmm. now and you mm-hmm. speak to me, chances mm-hmm. are I've got my AirPods. If, if I look like I'm snubbing you, I may be listening to the recap. You just don't know. But. Well, I was listening to something yesterday and it made something that somebody else said made me think about this. And I jotted a few notes down because I think that re- really regardless of when you listen to this episode um, and you're in this reading plan, 
it's okay to move at the pace you need to move. Yes. That the speed of this does not need to be um, what's driving you because it's a daily thing. And so every day might look different. You may be, you may do two in a day. You may do one. You may be off the plan for four days, but don't let the date that's attached to that reading hang you up and scare you and make you think, oh my gosh, I'm so behind. And you're just stuck looking at January 12th and the actual date that it is is January 20th. And I would struggle with that mm-hmm. a lot. But we then both at, did. Uh-huh, and at the same time, you're struggling with that feeling of I'm so behind and you just lose your enthusiasm. And, and it's so, hard enough without adding that pressure. Our goal yep. is to be in the word every day. To, Period. To read it and to learn something. Yes. Don't just read for the sake of reading. And we all did that last year. We did. Just to get through it. And mm-hmm. that's the struggle that comes yeah. with it. But when it's all said and done and you get further into it, you realize, you know what? It's okay. I'm not meant to absorb and understand everything because it's the Bible. That's right. We're not going to learn it all. What's that word that she loves? This is the mirror narrative. Yeah, meta narrative. Meta narrative. Sorry, yep. mirror narrative. Maranatha. Mar- well, I'm thinking. Of, maybe I'm thinking of marinade. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> This is the see. This is what mm-hmm. my brain does, y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry. Meta narrative <laughs> is the correct word we're talking about. The overarching story yeah, of scripture. The overarching yes. story, so that you just have this grand, beautiful picture of who God is. This is not yes. an in-depth Bible study. Correct. Okay. And, anyway, and if if you get off track and it is bothering you, and you you know, there's so much power and strength and support in doing this together in community. So let's say life throws you a curveball and and you miss a week. And then the following Monday, we're starting a brand new book of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Just jump in with us wherever we are. Nobody is going to go back and say, (laughs) shame on you. You're You're not not allowed. Yeah, you can't be here right now. (laughs) Yeah, you're not welcome here with us in Proverbs because you skipped, you know, Esther. I don't know. But we we will do that to ourselves. The enemy will plant those horrible yeah. beliefs in our mind because he does not want you to do this. That's right. So we've got to fight for each other to and stay And it in doesn't it. take much to cause us to get off track and mm-hmm. doubt and step away from it. That's right. And I'll tell you one thing, too, is that, you know, as gung-ho fired up as everybody is, well, I don't want to say everybody. There's plenty of people that go, you know, listen, my new year... I kind of live off of a school calendar year. So January is not anything new to me. You know, they just don't get excited and fired up and reevaluate things. And that's totally good. But if you're one of the people that kind of loves this this thing that starts to happen at the end of December, 1st of January, well, you know what? There's a lot of things that we have put in our mind that we want to do. Mm-hmm. And by January 22nd, we're exhausted and overwhelmed. Yeah. And this, any kind of spiritual growth and discipline is, for a lot of people, a part of that I'm overwhelmed Mm -hmm. and I'm not doing any of the things that I was fired up about three weeks ago. And so it doesn't take the devil much to knock us out. And there goes that Bible reading plan. So yes, if you get behind by a week, a day, whatever, just go right back. And jump in where you're supposed to be, and it's a okay. Yep. And and I want to I want to pause for just a minute and talk about within the U Version Bible app, with this Bible recap plan, make sure the very first screen of each day. And I mm-hmm. can't. Is it called devotional? Mm-hmm. It's the devotion. Um, which I think is interesting because I'm like, wait, what? That's not yeah. a de- to me. I'm like, that's not a devotion. It's not a devotion, <laughs> but it's so valuable and it's like a reminder. It's a good reminder. And if I'm not careful, I just kind of brush yeah. past it. Right. And at the beginning of each new book. Because we're in a Bible, hurry, Angela. Oh, we yeah. got to check things off. And this <laughs> we, is not one of them. we got to get blowing through this reading plan. <laughs> 
But the the beginning of each book of the Bible, there's a video. Love them. Aren't they? So, it's a little cartoon, like I'm five years old, but Listen, in the best way. His little voice, I absolutely love. And whoever does all that drawing and creating mm-hmm. of that, I'm like, y'all are brilliant. Thank you. Little cartoons mm-hmm. and charts that mm-hmm. just my mm-hmm. mind can go, okay, mm-hmm. I get it. Mm-hmm. I get it. So make sure to look for that. And then she has these five daily prayers. Mm-hmm. And we're going to talk about some of this with other guests, too, on on coming up episodes. But, you know, she asks and wants us to ask every day for things like wisdom and knowledge and understanding and making sure that our knowledge helps us love God more and Mm -hmm. not puff us up. Mm -hmm. That's so easy to fall into. Mm -hmm. And then to learn something new that we've never seen before. Right. And to correct lies we may believe and then directing our steps. So it's just it's so beautiful to have that on our heart and then read mm-hmm. scripture mm-hmm. because the I've noticed with myself, the times that I've kind of looked at it with a little bit of dread, if I'm mm-hmm. being honest, mm-hmm. or do I really want to do this? Is this going to be boring? I just need to or get through it. I don't have it. the time. I don't have the time. I'm looking at it like an assignment, right. like it's academic right? and not my heart posture. That's how I know when the condition of my heart's not good. Right. Because when my heart is in the place where these five prayers are going to put me, I can't wait to get in God's word. Right. But whenever I'm kind of, yeah, right. My heart's not right. Yeah. So well, and I'll. This is the last thing I'm gonna say about the TBR <laughs> TBR bull riding competition <laughs> with your Bible in your hand. We should give a big belt buckle for. <laughs> Maybe not. I've got to Google what it is. What I'm it trying is. to. I know. I've had that Western image though. Of oh a, yeah. An arena. Yeah. Okay. So maybe it's PBR. You're probably right. Bull something bull riding. Premium. Platinum. <laughs> A prayer bull rider. Prayer bull riding. <laughs> I don't think that's what it is. Now I've forgotten what I was going to say. Get a big okay. bottle of Worcestershire if you win. <laughs> that might be real. Okay, I'm going to stop. Um, I, we are, you and I are both in this uh, Facebook group through mm-hmm. our church that's the women's ministry is doing this um, Bible recap Over reading plan. 200 women. Yeah, by that's the way. awesome. And it's going to be long. It's going to take those of us that have been through this before to step in and encourage people so this morning while i was um able i jumped on there and said this in hopes that maybe it encourages somebody this isn't going to work for everybody but i told you what i started doing this year is i you i take the the bible recap reading plan and i read that later on in the day it could be at the end of my day it could be if i'm in the car for a little while i listen to it while i'm driving but it's not something i do first thing in the morning with the lord because a i'm not awake enough b i don't have i do have the time but it's not what i love to do first thing in the morning with him i have a different um I don't want to say system. That sounds terrible. pattern. Pattern. I just, I just rhythm. Uh-huh. I just have a different. I just do things different in the morning with the Lord, and so, you know what? At the end of the day, I come right back into that chair before I go to bed, and I go through it all again, and that's okay. So if you feel like you're not growing in the Lord through this, um, then maybe adjust when you're doing it absolutely well why wouldn't we do that why would we take the good healthy relationship that's that's working and flip it around to make this because then you're just like i haven't i go back to the devotion that she gives us like Mm -hmm. have i learned anything Mm -hmm. have i you know what am i accomplishing here have i given the holy spirit room that's right or am i just reading it just to be reading it read it yep so anyway, well, and and I use Jesus Calling mm-hmm, early because mm-hmm. I'm not a good wide right. awake person. It's just early a lot in the to absorb it's first a lot. thing, <laughs> and then later in the day, like you, I'm using the Bible recap for more of my slower right. study. Right. So, yeah. So yes. maybe that'll free some people up. And and we can't move on without saying a little bit about Job and his friends. Oh, because that's where we are in this reading plan right now. <laughs> We've said many times. <laughs> That I love the honesty of both. Mm -hmm. The friends, they have some pockets of good in there. But for the most part, you're just like, oh, my gosh. But, you know, who am I? Because I'm like, I've been an idiot friend, too. But just the honesty in Job, the Mm -hmm. honesty in the friends. 
this go around as I've read it, I'm like, listen, I get it. Mm -hmm. I get it all the way around. Yep. Yep. And then, you know, also the importance of taking scripture in context. If you had five years ago, put a little verse on Instagram and reference Job I wouldn't have known if it was what God wanted me to learn from his word right. or if it was God quoting Job's terrible friends. And they are terrible at yeah. times, yeah. most of the time. But we've got to know, you know, if, if you're quoting a verse from Job and don't have any idea of the context or where it fits in the story, mm -hmm. they're telling him some things that, mm -hmm. that aren't consistent with what God wants us to, to do and believe about him. And, and just knowing, again, the context and and what he actually wants to communicate to us through his word. And it's so sweet when we give him time yeah. and space for the Holy Spirit to do that. Yeah. So it, it's good. It I, is good. I love that we're all doing this together. I do too. And if no. you're not doing it and you want to, message us. We can get you going. Oh, sure. Whatever jump day in. it is. Just jump in where jump you, in. how you want to, when you want to. There's no wrong answer. So anyway. What, what, okay. else, what else are you loving as far as disciplines and anything else going on? Anything um, prayer-wise or... I don't know. Quiet time. I have. We'll link to this. We've talked about um, the prayer journal that I've used for many years. Kind of took yes. a step away from it because I didn't get it printed a couple of years ago. And I just did a different type of journal. But Beth Moore has a wonderful uh, prayer journal that she shares publicly. Um, and then she's got a YouTube video that talks about how she does her prayer life and I don't want to spend a ton of time talking about that because we've already talked so much about that prayer in general with Angela Cottrell in last week's episode. But I don't know. I love I love the prayer journal. I love um, New Morning Mercies. Mm -hmm. I read that every morning and Paul read mm -hmm, read the scripture that's tied to that. That's it's just a beautiful. That's what I read in the morning to wake up and just be in my prayers write in that prayer journal. Um, that's, that's my time with the Lord. And to just sit and listen to what he has to say for the day and kind of think back about the day before. But I love that. I love, love, love that. You, well, know, you know what I found? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I don't know. I was done. Um, <laughs> I'm done, we'll, period. We'll link to that in show notes. Yeah. That's probably what you were wanting to say. Um, I love in the YouVersion Bible app, there is a guided prayers section mm -hmm. on the homepage. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when I'm just in the carpool yep. line or when, yep. you know, if you've just, again, just build things into the pockets of your time. We've all got pockets where I'm, and, and this is me personally, I'm either numbing out, I'm mm -hmm. scrolling, I'm just looking for somewhere for my brain to land. Right. And I'm trying to catch that when it's happening and fill it with something life-giving. Yeah. And these guided prayers, it, it doesn't take long, but mm -hmm. it just gives you little prompts. And mm -hmm. it, it's simple. I mm -hmm. need simple mm -hmm. in my life. Especially as the day goes on. Oh, my goodness. I need simple. By 3 o'clock, I need some caffeine <laughs> and some simple. Right. And it better be Jesus or right. I'm going to say something unkind. Right. So, right. Yes. No, that's good. Yes. Okay, okay. what else? Happy New Year. Here we are. You know. We're I, still doing it. We we just need to remind everybody, reassure everybody, take baby steps. Yes. Know, just Just do what feels right with mm -hmm. you and the mm -hmm. Lord. We are all becoming, we are all growing. Yeah. We are not, my, my walk with him is not supposed to look just like your walk That's with right. him. Even it's in though, the contest. Yes. Even though at the same time, community matters and is helpful and encouraging. And, you know, studies have proven when we do things together, we're more likely to stick with them. Mm -hmm. But it, it's just like when you're, when you're having a baby or getting married and everybody wants to give you their opinions, mm -hmm. take it all with a grain of salt mm -hmm. and do what works for you. That's right. So. That's right. That's right, y'all. We will talk about this in some form or fashion. It may not always be the Bible recap with Tara Lee Cobble, but our listeners, you guys know that being in the Word and community and growing together is very important to us. So we will keep pressing on together, people. We will. And listen, next week's guest is going to blow mm -hmm. y'all out of the water. It, I, it's listen, good. It's so good. January is going to be like, whoa, y'all. Mm -hmm. All these episodes, if, if this the guests, thing, I don't if, know about yeah, us. but Well, <laughs> if, if, if these guests don't get y'all fired up, I don't know what will. Listen, exactly. Okay, guys. I don't know. This was fun, Angela. Thanks so much, everybody, for listening. And I hope you all have a great day. We sure do love and appreciate you. We'll see you next time on Rambling Through Everyday Life with Fran and Angela. Okay, everybody. If you love this podcast, help us keep giving you great, high-quality content by leaving us a rating and review wherever you listen to podcasts. 
be sure to like and subscribe while you're there. That helps other people find us. Be sure to share us with a friend. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Rambling with Fran and Angela. Or you can also connect with us on Facebook and Instagram under Rambling Through Everyday Life. Thank you so much for listening. We hope you'll join us again next week. Thank you.